Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, sounds weird saying that, but yeah, here we are. So um, I've had this Tesla now for seven weeks um, and I thought I'd do another video just because a lot of people are asking for it. It's a, it's you know It seems to be the Tesla community thing. Yeah, so I thought, um, you know, the, the topic for today could be accessories and adventures. Um, you know, it's been seven weeks and uh, we've done a few things, uh, you know, with the Tesla, bought some accessories, planning some adventures. So uh, let's talk about that. Um, uh, the first thing is sort of the accessories. Uh, you know, I've, uh, I, I didn't, I don't want to go overboard with sort of buying a lot of crap that uh, really don't add to the value, you know, over time just for the sake of buying it. Um, I did have, I did get four things, you know, related to the car specifically. So, you know, uh, why don't you work with me and I will show you what those four things are. All right, folks, so this down here is the top fit uh, travel desk. Um, hopefully you can see that, but this thing is very convenient, uh, you know, just for like eating or working. You put your laptop on this and you can work and eat. Another recommendation from Brian, um, I've used this and uh, yeah, I mean, I like it. And as a matter of fact, I used it this morning, picked up my daughter and she was eating and I was like, you're not going to make the Tesla dirty. So I gave her this and, you know, all the, the crumbs and the salad and the the stuff uh, you know dropped on here um, just very you know like a practical thing it cost me like uh, I want to say 55 bucks for about there but just uh, you know which is quite pricey but it's really well made and it fits perfectly in the Tesla I mean again you know if you're you know if you want to sort of get out there then you need something like this uh, the one complaint is it's quite bulky so um you know i'm i'm still trying to figure out where the best place to keep it uh you know i might not even keep it in the car and just keep it for longer trips although it is super convenient when you're just popping in and you don't want to you know you, you want somewhere to you want a platform to eat a surface to eat off of anyway Um, yeah, so I also, this is the, uh, the K, the 3D Max Spider Kegu mats. Uh, these seem to have like cornered the market a little bit. Everybody has, you know, uh, recommends them. They, uh, they fit perfectly in the Tesla. I got the, the front and the back, uh, which I'll show you. there that's the back fits so easy i mean it just you you just open it up and you put it in it takes like five minutes and i mean so far it's been doing a really good job it's uh you know where uh we've got kids moving in and out and just daily use you know you tend to get a lot of more on the on the carpets than you realize and so this takes care of that um they were 120 bucks uh, sorry 220 bucks so not cheap but uh you know i think probably worth it and uh yeah good quality super easy to wash out um so yeah that's another accessory So this is the Exped Auto Mattress and this is probably the most impactful accessory out of everything that I got, you know, that's going to give me that uh, vision of a vehicle to being mobile. Um, you know, this means I can sleep in any campsite or anything like that and honestly, um, you know, I'm not going to let the, the back down now because, uh, you know, filming logistics. But this thing is big enough for me without any problems. I'm 6'2". Uh, if I put the seat back, I can sleep here totally comfortably. Um, it's not fully inflated right now, uh, but I have inflated it fully and it, it, it's very, very comfortable. Like very comfortable. And then with this glass roof, that adds to the whole sort of feeling. Now, um, and I mean, I, I'm, I'm really very pleasantly surprised by this whole uh, op 
option uh, because really that was, you know, like I've said a, a couple of times, the driver, one of the key drivers for me getting this. And I've actually had my 13 year old daughter in this as well, you know, and plenty of room for both of us. Um, you know, the only, the only thing is when you, uh, you know, when you have this all put out, then, you know, the, it takes half your packing space. So you're gonna, you're gonna have to kind of think of something there. But in terms of purely sleeping, no problem for two people. Um, even better for one person. Like you can, you, you know, you, you can, you can definitely sleep in this, uh, you know, um, and you're not gonna suffer from, you know, um, sort of, uh, you know, bad back or anything like that. Uh, it's it's super comfortable, more than I anticipated. Great uh, recommendation uh, from Brian and, uh, and others as well, but uh, very, very happy with this purchase. Now, I tried to get one from REI, they didn't have any, so eventually I had to get from the, from the company itself. Uh, and that took about a week and a half to deliver, and it was about 360 bucks, which isn't cheap. But uh, you know, I'm just like I feel so comfortable now, just looking up the sky with the clouds and uh, the trees. I mean, and it's it's not even spring yet, you know. And so this this right here, that's this is what I'm after. And you know, this the Tesla, the mattress, it unlocks that for for me. Um, so just over the moon with this. Uh, and this is the last one. I got this uh, Spigen screen protector. Now that's that's just like you know if you were to protect your phone, it's like I think this company does a lot of those as well. I mean, there's nothing really to it. It's just a form of I think they said it's glass, but it's uh, yeah. You, you there's a trick to kind of putting it on, but they give you all the instructions. And when it's on, you don't even notice it. I mean, you can you can probably see some finger marks and stuff if you're uh, if you look at it closely. But they come off, and it definitely you know protects the screen from nasty uh, scratches and things like that. So I decided to get that. Uh, that was about thirty bucks, thirty or forty bucks, I think. All right, and as I talked about before, this is the wall connector. I think this is version three, um, and you know we had to upgrade our panel to get this installed, uh, so it took a bit longer, but now it's running perfectly. Uh, you know, I get the full full uh, wattage out of this. Um, it, it gets to 11, vo uh, 11 kilowatts, like almost immediately. And you know it's uh, 15 times as fast as before, give or take. Um, and I mean, we didn't have that much of demand for it because I, I don't commute. I work from home, but it's just very comforting to have this, you know, and to know you could get like a 25% charge, uh, you know, in, in an hour, hour and a half kind of thing. So uh, you know, you can. It, it just it just means that if you, if you kind of move a lot, you, you're not going to have any problems. Uh, super convenient, you know, very well constructed, uh, very, very solid. You're not going to have an issue with this. But yeah, uh, very happy with this install and how it works and how it performs. Alrighty, so yeah, so now that I've, uh, you've seen the accessories, uh, really four things so far that I think, uh, you know, is going to make this car much more usable uh, in terms of the goals that I have. Some really good media apps on the uh, in the Tesla, like built-in media apps. But there's some, you know, we've got HBO and things like that uh, that isn't there. And there's actually an app that somebody told me on a Facebook group about called uh, abettertheater.com, and it works so great. You just you navigate to it with the browser. Uh, using this, you can get a full screen, and you've got all the like not all of them but a lot of the like uh, streaming uh, folks out there you've got hbo you've got um, uh, hulu if you need third-party apps it's there and uh, i use it it works great uh, another thing is youtube tv actually you can access that through the youtube t uh, app on in Tesla, you just have to click on your profile and then scroll down a bit. It's a little bit hidden, but uh, you can get like proper YouTube TV with with you know with live TV in the Tesla, which has worked great so far.
Also wanted to talk about Tessie. Uh, that's a third party app uh, that uh, for your phone and stuff. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool. I, uh, the only thing is it's $4.95 a month, you know, which isn't that bad. But so far I like it a lot. It, it definitely has got sort of more than just the Tesla app. Uh, you know, especially if you're like interested in mileage and, you know, costs and things like that um, and uh, efficiency and all sorts of numbers and things. And it, it, it adds some functionality as well, uh, you know, that Tesla doesn't have, uh, you know, one way or another and it's or it might add some different UI. I, I actually really like the app so far. Um, I don't know if I'll if I'll continue to use it, you know, for, for a long time. But right now where I'm interested in like the numbers and stuff. It's definitely valuable to me anyway. Uh, that's at tessie.com, T-S-S-I-E. Um, so definitely check that out. Maybe sign up for one month, uh, you know, just to see what it's like. I, I find it's quite cool at this day. Um, but yeah, I mean, all of that is sort of the, you know, good stuff about, about you know, sort of the purpose of getting it. And I, I think I've talked about this before, but one of the key drivers was the camping aspect. And so this is pretty cool, but, um, We've uh, I've booked a campsite now for for my daughter and myself, my 13 year old daughter, uh, to actually take this car on our first camping trip. That's going to be in May in Central PA, so it should be nice and warm. But um, I mean, you know, you see a lot of people doing that, but uh, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, you know, we'll we'll let, definitely let folks know how that went. So there you have it, folks. That's uh, our first seven weeks, my first seven weeks with the Tesla. It's been amazing. Uh, I mean, the car is still awesome to drive. And now we're starting, you know, especially now with spring coming around where it's really nicer out and you can appreciate the sunroof, uh, you know, oh, so, sorry, the, you know, the glass roof. Um, but uh, yeah, we, you know, it's, uh, I've had no, no major complaints, a few minor ones that, that really sort of, you know, don't, aren't even worth mentioning. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, you know, please like uh, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell. I sound like the, uh, the 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 rhyme that everybody does, but yeah, I mean that helps. And uh, um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you again. You know, with uh, sharing more of our adventures or or sharing our first actual adventures. Thus far, it's just been sort of you know, checking it out and uh, getting a feel for it. Um, even though you could argue that just driving this car is an adventure. But um, yeah, thank you and we'll see you again.